What can you tell me about this dog's blood? <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to part number three of Gods Will Be Watching. Everdusk. Oh look at Bog! Hi Bog! Gentlemen, you have time to talk about personal details on the ship to Sinecos. Dismissed. Wait a second. What about the dog? What about the dog? Fucking doctor. It's not wise to have a dog inside the lab. My ass. This damn dog served the Everdust better than most of the soldiers on this ship. Knock it off, Jack. Dr. Zen's only wants what's best for the mission. He'll end up liking it. Marvin, everybody does. Good boy. Let's uh let's go back to work. I suppose. I don't know what launching is. And then she said, I thought it was a mercurial snake. Man, you are sick. Welcome back, gentlemen. How's the research going, Doc? Excellent. Sarah and I detected what causes paralysis within the Medusa virus. It detects the muscles within the Parasitian live net. It also freezes the user, inducing a chemical coma. It then keeps the vital functions running to create the perfect environment for spores to start growing in the victim's body. Sarah and I reduced the amount of possible compounds to five, so we are apparently pretty close to finding a cure. We'll probably be able to leave Synecois in a couple months. A couple months? Oh man. Cheer up, Jack. The estimated completion of the project was set at a year and a half. What? I have to start reading the mission briefings. I would have deserted if I knew that. Hello, everybody! Abraham? Man, how are you? Or should I call you Sergeant Burden? Liam. Don't worry, man. You had a job to do. No hard feelings. I'm glad you made it out of the Holistic Empire prison after all. You and your team will come in handy right now for Xenoleafer. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe I heard you say you were researching a cure for the Medusa virus? Cut the crap, Liam. What do you want? How rude, Jack. After all, after all we've been through, I hoped you'd be glad to see me. To answer your question, though, I want you to give us the cure for the Medusa virus, and I want it now. Excuse me, Mr. Liam, but we are far from discovering one at this point. There's still a lot of work to do. Oh, that's too bad. Especially since I'm in a little bit of a rush right now. Fine, I'll tell you what. Discover a cure by tomorrow, and you won't die. What? That's impossible. Don't underestimate yourself, lady. The threat of death can be a wonderful motivator. <laughs> What's that they say? Necessity is the mother of invention, no? Shaman can provide that motivation. Shaman? Indeed. C4 has been motivating humanity for centuries. Jack, calm down. Liam, listen to me. You're a, respons a reasonable man. I'm sure we can find a peaceful resolution here. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You won't talk your way out of this, Sergeant. I know you, Burden. You can survive this, just like everything else. After all, you're a legend, aren't you? Time to prove it. Liam! Snap! Fuck! Fucking Xenoleafer! Fuck! Oh my god. We're gonna die, aren't we? This can't be happening. Everyone calm down. Liam's not an assassin. He wouldn't kill us for mere revenge. Tell me you're not defending that son of a bitch. Don't lose your cool, Jack. If he wanted us dead, we'd be dead. We'd better start working fast and smart. Doctor, how much time do we have? Based on our research so far, we'll be dead in about 27.5 hours. That's plenty of time. Brandon, how much debris do we have blocking the exit? 1,520 kilograms exactly, sir. Okay, that's a lot of work, but if we cooperate, we can dig all that shit out in time. You forget the fact that we're all infected. Even if we all get out, we'll be dead. Understood. And your mission is to find a cure in less than 48 hours. That's impossible. Doctor. Well, there are some lines that can be crossed in order to speed up the investigation. Cross them. What do you mean, Doctor? Human experimentation. Are you insane? 
Are you just gonna blindly shoot random com- Are we just gonna shoot- blindly shoot random compounds into ourselves? Well, we can choose between a certain death or a possible death. I don't know about you, but I'll take my chances. Sounds like a plan. Okay, listen everybody, start digging and follow the doctor's instructions. We have to avoid overworking ourselves. In this situation, being well rested is just as important as working. I think Sarah and I can produce some synthetic excel accelerants through the use of the chemical computer. Adrenaline will speed up, speed up work, and sedatives can help you rest better. There are some drawbacks, Doctor. Adrenaline will make you feel pretty tired for a while after, after a while due to overworking. And sedatives will leave a person knocked out for a good bit of time, but it's a good way to recover faster. Alright. In any case, we should work mainly on developing an antidote. What steps should we follow, Doctor? Step 1. Produce an antidote. <laughs> step 2. Inject it into someone. Step 3. Pray. Finally, step 4. If the subject endures the shot, we analyze their blood and see what went right and what went wrong. Then repeat. I'm a little lost. Don't worry. Focus on leading the team. If you want to know about any aspect of the research, just ask me. Okay. Since time is crucial, we should work in spans of 30 minutes. Use the clock on the top right corner of the computer to begin work sessions. Every 30 minutes of work, we can reassess the situation. Okay, Everdust team. Let's... Wait a second. What? The power supply seems to have been damaged. We can't let the battery drop below zero or screwed. How the hell do we avoid that? Sir, I volunteer myself to connect the broken power supply. Donald, is it safe? Well, Brandon is tough as hell. It might actually work. And I can do maintenance on him so he doesn't get toasted. Or you can sacrifice me and leave me as a permanent connection so power won't be a problem anymore. No way. I'm gonna need you digging as much as everyone else. Yes, sir. Okay, Everdust team. Oh! <sighs> yes, Doctor. Sorry, just wanted to remind you that if we found in research prior, if any of us experience paralysis, we can fight it with a temporary jolt of electricity. That's why the defibrillator unit is here. I can do the preparations. We can have up to three charges on standby for use. And in the meantime, get to skip digging, won't you? Those are the benefits of having a, a wider set of skills than just shooting things. Hey, that's enough. Okay, everyone knows what they have to do. Everdust team. Burden! What? Just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> I give up. Everybody do your best. Our lives are riding on this. Everdust team, let's do this. Let's connect the power lines. Charge some defibrillators. You go dig two. Research complete. Marvin, come here boy. Time for a shot. You'll be okay, won't you, Bog? That's right. Good boy. Are we having a good time yet? You too, go dig. Did they pull that shovel out of their butts? Marvin is awake. Battery is fairly charged. Research is complete. Come here, boy. First compound reacts correctly. Second compound reacts correctly. Third compound seems to work, but is misplaced. Alpha, Beta, Lambda, Delta. Alpha, Beta, Lambda, Delta. Alpha, Beta, Lambda, Delta. Beta, Delta, Lambda, Omega. We don't need to... We don't need to inject Marvin this time, I think. Or should we? 
God damn it, I don't know. Come here, dog. It's a hard choice. But I make the hard decisions. Good night. Oof. Defibrillate the dog. Hopefully his hair doesn't catch on fire. You go dig too, Marvin. We cleared the exit. Just need to find the cure and we're good to go. Hopefully this is the cure. Not a great band, but a great thing. Keep working, keep working. Then we'll need to analyze some dog blood. Fuck. 28 turns. Research complete. Analyze blood. What can you tell me about this dog's blood? Now we're good with the battery. So you go repair that robot. Come on, doggy, wake up. Yes. I feel pretty rested. Here, doggy. What does your blood say? First compound reacts correctly. Second compound reacts correctly. Third compound reacts correctly. Fourth compound reacts correctly. Fuck the gods, we really did it! Let's get out of here! It wasn't human experimentation. Animal experimentation. Which is much more acceptable. Don't. Our, our mission is to protect the team, not engage in direct combat. I'm so happy to see you again, Sergeant. What are you doing, Liam? Is this your twisted notion of revenge? If that's what you want, you'll just... You'll end it faster by just executing me. These people don't have anything to do with Xena Leifer. Yeah, you'd love that, wouldn't you? I'm sorry, but revenge is not what I'm after. What I'm really after is the cure to the Medusa virus. That thing about leaving your team isolated with the virus? Well, that was a gamble. I have my own research team, you know. But I could never apply these conditions to them, if you know what I mean. Anyway, all's well that ends well, no? I never imagined you would be this kind kind of son of a bitch, Liam. Oh, it does feel good being on the other side now, huh? No one likes being Xena Leifer's enemy, but you two made your choices. Enjoy defending oppression and slavery. We have to go now, and we can't take any risks of letting you follow us or alerting the Constella Federation. So, farewell, Abraham. Oh, shit. What are you doing? If you leave us here, we'll die! Please, you know I'm not an assassin. It's just that if you get off this planet, I'm sure you'd further complicate my plans. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll find a way to survive. You may even may end up liking it, your retirement here if you give it a chance. Chapter 3 Sacrifice no one! My guinea pig was Marvin. Most people picked Donald. That's weird. So, friends, this has been Gods Have Been Watching, or will be watching. <laughs> My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Until next time, friends. Bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.